Good morning, everybody. Michael Ford here, www.oshkoshforall.com. Make sure you vote absentee or on April 7th for City Council. Um, I'm making this video this morning because I was I was just asked on Facebook yesterday why I, uh, I, I don't identify myself as a Democrat or Republican. And I mean, the short answer is that, that this is a nonpartisan race. Um, so so it's, it's not something that we run for as a Democrat or Republican. But I think it's important that you, the voter, knows that I am not endorsed by any political party. I have not received any assistance, so that's a voter list, space to put a sign, nothing from any political party. And, and the reason is simple. I believe in the nonpartisan nature of this office, and I believe in, in nonpartisan, bipartisan solutions uh, to the problems that uh, you know, problems that we need to solve in, in Oshkosh. And really, I believe in the voice of every Oshkosh resident. I, I'm not gonna walk into city council on day one only representing the interests of a narrow few. When I say Oshkosh for all, I mean Oshkosh for all. These aren't just empty words. Um, I posted the story of this here pen um, on Facebook back in January. Um, I, it's worth sharing this again because this is a pen um, that I received from a Republican state legislator. She sent it to me and it was used by, by Tony Evers, the Democratic governor, to sign a piece of bar bipartisan legislation in which I was invited to testify and did testify at both the um, Wisconsin, uh, the committee level, excuse me, in both the Wisconsin Senate and the Assembly. Now they asked me to testify because it was related to some, some research I, I do on uh, teacher diversity. So, so the specific legislation offers loan forgiveness for uh, minority teachers that uh, serve school districts, uh, both public and private schools and districts, with significant percentages of minority students. Um, in other words, it's a bipartisan solution um, to a to a a need and, and a, a, a research supported idea that if we have a, a teaching force that um, is more representative of the student body, we can expect to see academic gains. Um, so I, I share that story one because I, I'm proud of it. I'm proud that my daily work can have a policy impact like that. But I'm proud of it because it shows that there are things that we can all get behind. It shows that solutions are solutions regardless of one's ideology. A solution has no, has no partisan affiliation. So my experience with this legislation is just one example of my commitment to working across the political aisle. I have done it throughout my career in public policy. Um, I think if you talk to anyone who has worked with me in the community, I think they can, they can double down on, this, uh, on this, um, this reality, this fact that I am not a partisan operator, I am not an ideologue. Um, I'm running because when I say Oshkosh for all, I mean Oshkosh for all. I want your vote, whether you are a Democrat, Republican, or something else. I am committed to representing you, whatever your ideology is, because you are Oshkosh. Your voice matters. We are all in this together. I think we are seeing in this pandemic um, just how important it is to realize that there are things that are going to impact all of us. Um, something like the virus knows no ideology. Um, the recovery from this from this pandemic, the, both the, the health, the human, um, and the economic, that's not going to be something that, that we can we can we can put ideology into. It's going to require all of us, and and I am committed to being that positive force for good government that listens to ideas from all sides. And frankly, I don't want sides. We are we are Oshkosh. Um, we are a nonpartisan uh, council for a reason, and I am committed to living up to that up to that standard. Now, specifically, if you have any questions about my policies, uh, what I want to accomplish on council, um, please go to my website, oshkoshforall.com. Please check out my ads. Uh, please please check out, you know, feel free to email me and reach out. You might even, might even get a video. I'm committed uh, to being as transparent as any candidate, more transparent if possible than any other candidate in the race, because I believe residents have a right to know what they're getting when they vote for Mike Ford. So I really hope to earn your vote regardless of what your ideology is. Um, and I, I urge you to stay safe and stay healthy um, this week. Thanks for your time.